Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Spot. So I am here at this park today, uh, just riding my bike a little bit, getting some exercise. And I thought it was a perfect opportunity to talk about wearing headphones. Um, whenever I'm out riding or I'm out uh, walking or going for a walk in the neighborhood or the very rare times I actually run, <laughs> Um, I like to listen to music or I like to listen to podcasts or audiobooks is I love listening to audiobooks while I'm out walking but the problem is and you guys could probably relate that when I'm wearing headphones I can't hear anything in the outside world which is you know the way they're designed that's the way it's supposed to work but for someone with low vision I need to be able to hear everything because that's how I see I can't see the car coming down the street but I can hear it from far away. I can hear a car. If there's a street coming up that I'm gonna intersect, I can hear if there's traffic coming long before I get close enough to see it. Or if I'm riding, I can hear cars coming up behind me, uh, so I know I need to get over. So I use my hearing for a lot of stuff when I'm out and about. So wearing the headphones closes everything off. It makes it really, I get really nervous riding with headphones. Um, walking with headphones. I'm better at walking. Riding is impossible because I can't react quick enough if I can't hear. So to kind of fix that problem, I picked up these. This is a pair of Bluetooth wireless bone conducting headsets. Now, what does bone conducting mean? Bone conducting means that these don't actually go in your ears. They go right in front of your ears and it sends vibrations through your skull and you can hear the music or, or the book or whatever you're listening to. It's pretty cool. This is how you wear it. Wraps around the back, fits nice and snug right there. It comes with a little strap that you can put on to uh, make it smaller so it'll fit normal size heads. Obviously I don't need it because I've got a giant head. Uh, <laughs> but it just sits right in front of your ears and you can hear the music just as if it were inside your ears like a regular pair of headphones. It's pretty awesome. But you can see that my ears are open. So I hear the music and I hear everything around me at the same time. Works really, really well. I mean, it's not as loud as if you had earphones right in your ears, but that's to be expected because you're hearing everything else as well. Leaving my ears open makes it so much easier for me to be aware, situationally aware of my surroundings. Now, as I said, they are Bluetooth, so they sync with your phone or your tablet or whatever via Bluetooth wirelessly. There's a recharging port here, so you plug it in with a micro USB cord and recharge it. There are a couple of buttons on the back here. Uh, there's a power switch, then there's two buttons, a plus and a minus. There are buttons on the earpieces here, so when you're wearing them, if you want to switch tracks or you want to pause the playback, you can do that. You can switch uh, tracks forward or backwards. This is also how you receive phone calls. So this is a wireless headset for phone calls. You can uh, receive calls, uh, you're listening to your music and someone calls in, it will ring and you press the button to answer and you just talk normally and you press the button to hang up and then your music will start over again. They work really, really well. Uh, now, I will say they're not the cheapest things in the world. I'll have a link to Amazon where I purchased mine down below. But if you wanna get out and about and you have concerns about not being able to hear everything because you're wearing headphones, this might be a good option. Oh, it is a perfect day out today. Hopefully you guys can hear me with the wind blowing. There's this storm coming in, so it's overcast. It's nice and cool. Beautiful, beautiful day to be out riding. So I've had people ask me about riding my bike and this is the perfect ideal location for me to ride my bike. It's a weekday morning, there's nobody out here um, and it's nice, big, wide lane. I'm not gonna run into anything as long as there's not sticks or anything on the, on the path here, I'm not gonna hurt myself. Now also there's really good contrast. You guys can see the trail goes down and curves to the right. It's a nice, bright, white, ish uh, <laughs> pathway against the dark green of the grass so there's a lot of good contrast i'm not going to run off the path and uh, it's easy to follow so the whole key for me riding a bike is to constantly be scanning 
you know, my, my blind spot is detrimental to riding because something might come up, a car or a stick in the, in the path, and it's right in my blind spot, I don't see it. So you constantly have to be looking around, scanning, making sure you know what's in front of you, what's around you. Um, but doing that, scanning, and riding on a path like this where there's a lot of good contrast between the path and the grass, wide area, there's not hardly anybody out here. That person on a bike just now was really the first person I've seen on the path since I got here about half an hour ago. So this is perfect conditions for riding for me, riding safely. All right, well, I'm gonna get back at it. Thanks for watching guys. This is Sam with The Blind Spot. If you have any more questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to help out. Thank you again for watching. I will see you next time.